It's a heavyweight showdown between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Matt the Immortal Brown. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Brown is 10 years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 19 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Matt the Immortal Brown! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it a fight. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key match. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Just misses there with the left. Oh, 
Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Korean Super Bowl. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh. <laughs> and he comes D. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. We got him with his hips into that kick. Joy's punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Single collar tie now. Oh, massive kick, everything behind it. Uppercut lands for him. Oh! Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Muay Thai plump. Brown gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Nice punch there. Back and forth we go! Oh, big knee! Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Ooh, big knee. Big knee. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Brown's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Right hook to the head block. 20 seconds to go in round one. Nice straight there by Choi. All right, single collar tie now. Final seconds of round one. Brown gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. 
He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Right hook to the body. Blocks the shot. Good punch. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice straight punch there by Choi. Strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Huh. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton, and to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to half length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh! He might get a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. Wow. Now it's his mouth. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Back to his feet. Choi's hook to the body appeared to be blocked by the defense. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home.
watch him prove defensively as he blocks the shot. Brown's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Effective strike there by Brown. A oh, little single collar tie there. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Brown gets in the clinch. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Choi. Oh, big right hand, yes. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Punch over top. Oh, collar tie. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Straight punch lands. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Got a clip with the right hand. Oh, big knee there. Both guys landing with conviction now. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with it. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk when you're tough. Now gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice punch lands over the top. Punch coming, it's blocked. Keep going again. Do it again. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Push kick there to the body. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Brown gets hit with a kick. Whips on the straight right hand. 
big leg kick land. Just misses with the straight right. Punch is blocked. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Fifteen seconds to go. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. And now he's got that tight punch. Stuff's nice take out man. a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Straight right, he misses. Nice punch by Choi. Oh, blocks the shot. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Jab hurt him a little bit. That's a big strike right there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, Give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Risk Just over two minutes to go. and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, do a posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half -up. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. One minute to go in the round. Remain in the round. As you see the cut on the bridge of the nose, and that thing is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. The cut man is going to give that some attention, but that's not an ideal location either. That blood is getting into the mouth. Ugly stuff for him to deal with here. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. We have arrived at this fifth and Whoa! final round. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. A swing. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on beach trees right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Good stick. Oh! He was hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Now oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Fighter trying to pass the loop, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Outstanding kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute, 27 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also 
most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.